Do you like the video? Yeah. Wow. It's a very interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. And remember that this was done about two or three years ago, so all the changes. Yeah. Yeah. Did anything call yeah. your attention there? Yeah. Anything that struck yeah. you? And it's nice to have people all, all over the place. <coughs> Anything that called your attention that you said, oh my god, that's true. Right, Julio, you said that we are using the wrong approach. Some, some of us, yes. What do you mean by that? Okay, uh, so uh, what I notice when I go to schools and visit schools, and see people teaching is that, that there is an immense, a gigantic break, a gigantic gap between what people do in real life and what they do in your classes. As the video said, they sometimes they have to come to the classes and power down. They come to a, a world that is not really part of what they do outside the classroom. Mm -hmm. Perhaps because you were afraid of technology, first of all. Second, because you don't have access to technology in your schools. That is a problem as well. Lots of schools are equipping the classrooms with computers and interactive whiteboards and the internet. But many of, of the schools don't have any of these, right? Little by little, if you start using technology in the class or outside the classroom, your schools will feel compelled to equip themselves, right? But if you refuse to use it, the school will never make the first move. And, and what is uh, interesting for you is that there's a lot of competition out there and, and technology in the classroom nowadays is a marketing project for them. So they will have to do it, otherwise they will close. So, anything else that you saw there that called your attention? Yeah. Oh my God, yes. Just imagine 10 hours without asking a question in a normal classroom. And that's not difficult to believe. That's not difficult to believe. Not in an English school course, the English language course, because there are fewer students in the classroom, so they have the chance to talk more. But in, in a normal college, that's probably true. Yeah, poor things. I'm going to show you, what about the, the cell phones, the evil cell phones? <laughs> Have you ever tried to use a cell phone to teach? Hello, Lobby. Have you ever tried to use the cell phone to teach? No. Any idea of how to use that? No. I'm going to show you something. Look at the fantastic uh, box that Macmillan prepared for you. No. Be the, ra the raffle present. <laughs> so, this is um, why don't you get your cell phones? I would like to see your cell phones. Get your cell phones now and show them to me. Turn them on, turn them on. I want them all on. Your flashy cell phones. <laughs> Are you chic? Ah, good, good, good. Got them there? Yes. So I'm going to do some research uh, with you now. And instead of asking you to raise your hands, I will, I will ask you to vote via the mobile phones, right? So it's very simple. What social network is more popular for you? This is, which of these is more popular for you as a user? Do you use Facebook? Do you use Twitter? Do you use Orchid? Hmm? So I would like to know, and for that, you don't raise your hands because I don't, I think this is old. And then, then, I want you to text your option, yes. All right. There you go. You should. All 
Oh, is it me? What is the most popular for you? It's not popular for everyone else. Well, which one do you prefer, maybe? So, can you see the number up there? There is a plus 6142-9883481. Can you see that number there? That is the number of the receiver, the, the one that you will text to. Do you know how to make the plus in your cell phone? Sabe como fazer o sinalzinho demais no seu celular? You just have to press zero for two seconds. And the zero will become a plus sign. This is the number that you're going to text to. And what will you text? Qual é o assunto, a mensagem em si? The message is one of those numbers there. If you prefer Facebook, you're going to text the first one. Or Twitter, or Orchid. Do you get it? So now vote. Let's see, I'm going to vote too. The one that I prefer. Do you understand what you have to do? No. You have to press zero, press very hard for two or three seconds and it becomes a plus. Yeah? So let's see, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna use that. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. Either Facebook, Twitter, or Orchid, you have to text the number. I don't know which one do you prefer. Okay, so text. Do you have to. Oh, somebody voted! The number six one. Did you vote? No, no, no. Take the Do you understand how to do it? You, no, you text. It's a text message. Oh, maybe give it a signal. Sorry? Did you vote? No. Wait a minute. Did it? Very well. It's amazing to see your reaction. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. I know how it's how you can do it. <laughs> right. So do you like this website? It's very funky, very interesting, but there is a question here. What if students don't have credit to text the message, right? They can do it on the internet. They can do it via Twitter or can, they can do it the way that you program. So you have to go to this website. It's called Paul, P-O-L-L, -L, all everywhere, all everywhere .com. I'm going to put it up in a few minutes there for you to copy the, the URL, right? And then you can create your polls and you can send it to the student's email and students can vote and you have the results. It, it doesn't have to be uh, like this on site, on the spot. It can be for homework, for example. For it, imagine that you are on Saturday night you are, you are as just like any other teacher in the world. You are preparing your classes. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
And then you said, oh my God, I'm gonna, I, I want to play some songs, some music for them on Monday. But I'm, I'm not sure if they prefer Beyonce or Lady Gaga or if they will like uh, what? Pink. So I'm going to create a poll, send it to them, they will vote, and then I'll get the results and say, oh, the result of the poll is Lady Gaga. So I'm gonna play Lady Gaga for them on Monday. Isn't that fascinating? And it will see, you know, they see you as, wow, aren't you techie? Isn't my teacher techie? <laughs> very sexy, very, very sexy. So uh, we've got eight people managed to vote, and some uh, the, the, the winner is Facebook here. 63% of everyone uh, prefers. Wow, that's good. Another thing, I'll take the opportunity. Uh, are you in the social uh, network, social media thing? Are you, do you have a, a Facebook account? Yes. You have a Twitter account? Yes. You'd better. Well, I'm more to do so. This is the URL for you to copy, right? It's alleverywhere.com. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. I like it too. So another one. Oh, do you by any chance know what?